My name is uh, Per Brun Brockhoff. I'm a professor in statistics here at the Technical University. And I've now, over the last five or six years, been um, in charge of teaching the introductory statistics for civil engineers here at our university. And uh, during the last uh, couple of years, I've been doing this teaching in a sort of special way, in, in the sense that I'm recording everything and I'm sharing everything I do through the Adobe Connect software, which is supported, given to us by uh, Forstningsnet. Um, and I'm going to tell you just hopefully very brief how I can actually do that. So the main issue is that to actually do this, you need a bit of uh, a little bit of technical um, e e equipment, but not much actually. Uh, the major equipment for making it happen is my laptop, which is a tablet computer, such that uh, you can um, you can do basically everything you will you want with the screen, and you can you can uh, you can um, um, you can write and you can make drawings on the screen. I'm going to show you in a in a while how we do it. Then. To also make it happen, I am using, as I said, uh, the Adobe Connect software, which I started up here already, and the meeting facility within this Adobe Connect software. So here is a meeting that I have started within uh, the Adobe Connect software. And then the basic uh, issue here is that I am sharing everything I do, that is, my computer screen, I share, now I do it here, everything. Um, and it's just working on, on the sharing. Here we are. You can choose what you want to share. Usually I choose the complete desktop of my computer because I want to do uh, several different things at the same time. I'm going to show you presentation, software, internet, uh, writing, uh, every, everything. So I share my complete desktop. And um, now my desktop is being shared with, with all the participants. Now the point is, I'm doing this in the auditorium. So actually, for the people in the auditorium as such, it doesn't make a difference because they are listening to me making my lecture anyway. But uh, the benefit is that everything that I do will be recorded and can be shared afterwards. At the end of this, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you some new initiatives I'm working on where I actually more actively use uh, the uh, meeting facility also during my lecturing with the students. Anyway, I'm going to share audio and um, video also. So I'm going to have a mic and a camera. And that's I'm having a um, quite cheap Logitech uh, wireless mic that I'm using. Remember to put it on. That's one of the mistakes that you're going to do eventually. Uh, and secondly, a rather uh, cheap um, uh, webcam, which I have a few meters of wire on. And then I, in the auditorium, I find a table a couple of meters away from me to be able to record. The point is, this camera is just for recording me, in a way, my face. It's not actually to record uh, anything else and nothing of the activity going on. This is all recorded by the computer because I'm not using the blackboard or anything. I'm only using my computer. So the, I'm activating now the, the camera. You can see here I have a control for this webcam. I can uh, find, uh, given the place I'm in, uh, I can find a good uh, uh, view that I find fits the situation I'm in. Let's stick to, to this one here. Then I'm actually ready to start uh, my uh, start my lecture. Then what I do is there is a facility in here where you can record the meeting. So I record my meeting and. For instance, introduction to statistics. Now we could call it uh, Adobe Connect uh, presentation. And uh, this is the name under which this session will be recorded. As of now, everything is recorded. Video, audio, and everything I do on my screen is recorded. So basically, now the technical requirements are up and running. I'm ready to start my lecture. 
So this is how I start uh, all the lectures by setting this up. It takes maybe five, ten, ten minutes uh, making this uh, up and uh, up and, and running, and then I can do my lecture, and I then have my presentation. And I have a presentation like anyone else. It could be PDF, it could be PowerPoint, whatever. And then you can uh, work with your presentation. You can. Uh, this is uh, coming from a lecture on regression analysis. And this is not in English. This is in Danish here. Um, then you can you can write on the screen like this. You can make drawings if you want to exemplify a linear re regression. You can uh, you can. Treat it as a regular presentation, and this is a uh, this is within something which is called the Windows Journal. This is a specific sort of uh, software coming with my tablet computer. So any type of uh, files or uh, you're working with and you want to print, you can print this out to a Windows Journal file, and you can work with a Windows Journal file, and you can. You can annotate, and you can save, and you can PDF print afterwards to uh, uh, share with the students. Of course, if you work with PowerPoint, there is an in inbuilt uh, connectivity between the this tablet uh, um, function that I'm the, the tablet um, activity. It works together with PowerPoint inbuilt, so you can do it directly in PowerPoint if you want. But anything else, you can combine with the Windows Journal um, uh, software here. So that's what I do, and then I have not only my um, my presentation. Next to that, I have some example material that I can share with the students. Also here on the example material, you can you can make drawings, you can do uh, anything you want. Uh, here I brought something you can play around and uh, write on the screen, uh, share it with the students, and finally. Also, you can. I usually have a third one running where I can do the things that I would normally do on the blackboard. The the kind of things that I would like to do if I wanted to show in very detail some kind of regression model, or I would uh, want to do some kind of definition of something. I could write on the blackboard like like this, and I could call it, give it a name, and again I can save it and share it with the students uh, afterwards. So this was my blackboard, my presentation, and my example material. Everything going directly on my tablet and being recorded uh, in my uh, presentation. Then I can also, since I'm sharing everything, of course sometimes you would want to go on the internet. I guess probably we all do that. You could go directly on the internet and share information there with people in, in Google, um, go to my own website, and uh, still, uh, since I'm sharing everything, it's being shared. I have my statistical software, which we are using in this course. Um, um, for instance, let me just, I can share an example I usually do with heights and weights of young men that I use as a running example when I do regression analysis. I can use my software. Within the software, I can print. I can take the printing from this uh, software, which is then a plot of something uh, that I did in the, in the lecture hall. I can print it out. This is an example where I choose my journal note writer as a printout. I can print this. You can either save it or just uh, view it. And get it here. Then I can take this plot that I just constructed and I can start annotating on the plot which I just constructed using the student's information which I created directly with my own software and I can annotate and teach uh, it like that and still share everything in the auditorium such that the people in the auditorium for them it's just like any other lecture basically but I, without using the actual blackboard only using the computer and then everything is recorded to be shared with everyone else afterwards. So basically that's it. I can, you can do everything there, blackboard, presentation, uh, example material, internet, software, and if you have any other things you want to do, of course you can do it uh, and share it with 
people. So basically, to me now, it's just like doing any other lecture, as I did before, where I used old-fashioned, uh, I don't even remember the name, the one with the light overhead projector, and of course, classical uh, beamer presentation with a computer combined with blackboard, examples, and so I had a combination of that originally. I put it everything into my tablet computer now and recording it on an uh, I record everything I do now when I when I teach. Basically, that's it for the um, for the recording and for the teaching. It's uh, just a regular lecture, which is everything is being recorded. Right now, that's the final thing I want to mention to you. I'm actually experimenting a little bit bit with uh, in, including a bit more interactivity for either people in the auditorium or actually people sitting everywhere else uh, in my course that would be able to follow what I do simultaneously. Because I, could, uh, I can allow people to join the meeting room, and that's what I'm trying to uh, even encourage my students, also in the lecture hall, to use their own laptops if they want. Or even in the future when we, I guess, when new facilities are being developed, people could do it with their iPhones or their Android phones. Uh, I'm sure we're not quite there yet with the Adobe Connect, but uh, I'm sure we will be there in the future. Anyway, let me show you what we could do. The uh, meeting facility in Adobe Connect includes, for instance, a chat. Um, so I add in a chat thing, and I actually encourage people to um, ask questions. Not, of course, with the aim that I'm, when I, when I lecture, in this course, I can have 100, 200, 300 people. So, of course, I cannot chat with people uh, <laughs> while I'm lecturing, but the idea would be that they could come up with comments during the lecture, even questions, and then I could do follow-up afterwards. That's the idea of it. I could even do follow-ups follow that I record to share with everyone based on some of the questions that they have. We do have another option built in. There are polls. And you can do uh, sort of uh, entertaining polls. I usually ask people what is uh, the mood this morning. But you can also, of course, use it more seriously. Like, what would you like? This is Danish. I apologize. What would you actually like me to follow up? So I can, I can make a poll here such that people can actually w vote for things that they put in, their, put in their chat. That's the idea. Then they can vote which uh, questions they would like to have answered also. And everyone can share this, and I can have a look at this when the lecture is done or in the break of the lecture. So this is still on an experimental basis, this inclusion of chat and polls, since it is a bit of a challenge, of course, to find out how to use this in combination with an old-fashioned lecture, where you lecture in front of 200, 300 people. The, the benefit is that I can share this with people sitting uh, uh, anywhere in the world, basically, they can have the lecture simultaneously. Or, of course, then uh, when I record it, they could do the lecture afterwards. So basically, that's how I do in my basic stats teaching now. And uh, now when, when you're then finished, sorry, you go up here and you say stop recording and you have everything um, recorded uh, for sharing with the students just by a simple link in, at the web page. So just to finish off, this, since I've done that a couple of years now, I'm uh, sort of collecting material. That's my, my final uh, slide here. So you can go and see my online st statistics lectures. I've collected uh, basic statistics lectures in Danish and English, open for everyone to go and have a look at. And just as a finish off, uh, during this uh, year, as of uh, uh, June 2010, I've had more than 5,000 hits on those basic stats lectures. And considering uh, how popular usually basic stats uh, is among uh, the general students, I, I find it pretty neat that 5,000 times actually someone, some young person actually pressed the button to actually see part of my stats lecture. So I, I really enjoy basically this uh, new way of teaching. And uh, I, to me now, it's just everyday way of doing it. So I don't miss the original Blackboard or anything. I feel quite comfortable now with teaching in, uh, in, in this way. Thanks.